thank you so so much for tuning in today's video is another Dollar Tree nautical decor video and today I am tackling a little wood boat which I love because you have three uses out of this you can use it as a shelf in two different styles or you can use it as a boat centerpiece which is one of my favorites this is definitely a weekend project so if you do prefer shorter easier crafts this one is probably not for you but if you don't mind then it is totally worth it in the end at least in my opinion and I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel once you hit that subscribe button we instantly become best friends did we just become best friends yep and please don't forget to hit that notification bell make sure your notifications are set to all so you know every time I post a DIY so let's go ahead and get started I'm starting off with this little surfboard platter, which I found in the party section of Dollar Tree. They do come in different colors and patterns, so it's up to you if you want to paint it or cover it up. I'm covering it up using duct tape in wood grain. Now, Dollar Tree does have wood grain contact paper, which I use for everything, but since I'm going to be gluing stuff on this, I really wanted to use duct tape. I just felt a little bit more secure, but if you just want to paint yours or cover yours up in contact paper, you can go ahead and do so. Once I get to the edges, I make sure to create little notches when I'm turning the tape in so that there's no extra bulk. And I'm also making sure that I'm getting rid of all the air bubbles. Even though this is duct tape, you're still going to get some air bubbles. So make sure that you're smoothing everything out. And in the end, you can also just grab a needle and pop them. But just make sure that you're creating little notches when you're folding the tape inward. You can start wherever you want. I started in the middle because I just wanted to make sure that the middle looked extra nice. If you're using this for a centerpiece and not a shelf, you can go ahead and skip this part because you're probably not going to see the inside if you're going to cover it up with flowers or whatever. So it's all personal preference. Once it is completely covered, I'm going to go ahead and prep everything else that I need. And I'm going to need one pack of the larger craft sticks from Dollar Tree. You can find this in the school section or the craft section. Now I just cut off the rounded tips. And I used one as a guide to make marks for others. Now, if you use scissors, this is going to take quite some time, which is why I say it's a weekend project. So I actually used my mini saw. You don't have to use it, but I have been obsessed with this thing since my last project using it. And basically, I just grabbed a bunch of popsicle sticks together and then I lined it up made sure that my saw was going to fall right where I wanted it to, and then cut it down. To make my life a little easier, I took the popsicle sticks and taped them together so that they don't slide around, and then put my guide on top. Like I said, you don't have to use this. You can cut them all by hand with really good scissors, but I have been obsessed with this. I'll link it below. It's come in really, really handy for all of my Jenga projects lately. So I cut down every single one of the popsicle sticks in my pack and I laid them out. Now I'm going to use these games from Dollar Tree. You find them in the kids section. These are the ones that I use to make my little flip-flops. I am going to go ahead and sand off as much of the letters as I can and once everything is sanded off I am going to place them with the little holes facing down and I'm going to do this with a mix of hot glue and this adhesive from Dollar Tree. I found this in the hardware section. I usually use E6000, but I've been giving this a chance and it actually works pretty well. So I'm going to place this, making sure that it is nice and straight. And then I'm going to use some Jenga pieces. You can position these however you want, but I position them facing up just to give it a little bit more support kind of like a little L bracket, but not really an L bracket. So I added three just to be able to add some weight to it. And then I added my second shelf. Because these are actually quite wide, this piece only fits two shelves, which is perfectly fine because if you use it in the second style with the wood trimming, you can use the bottom as a little shelf as well. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So once this is all in place, you can let it dry and you can use it just as is, as a cute little shelf. This is the easiest way to do it. 
But if you wanted to get a little bit more into it, you're gonna grab those popsicle sticks and start lining them around the edges. Now these are actually pretty tall. I did end up removing them and cutting them down. And then I went ahead and just kept gluing all the way around, making sure that I'm not leaving any spaces like I did at the beginning. But you can use leave spaces if you'd like, it's totally up to you. So once I made my way around to those edges, I made sure to start curving my popsicle sticks. And if you do see a little bit of gap, that is okay. I think it looks really good and makes it look a little bit more authentic. If you notice, I am placing the popsicle stick to where it's touching the table instead of just putting it on the edge. I did it this way so that I can get all of the popsicle sticks somewhat aligned, but if you feel confident doing that at the edge so that the boat has a little bit of dimension, then you can go ahead and do that. But I wanted to make it nice and straight. And once I was done, I added my final popsicle stick. There is a gap between this one because obviously there's a little bit of a curve. But to cover up all of those uneven popsicle sticks, I went ahead and I added some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. This you can find in the floral section of your Dollar Tree is 13 feet, so it's more than enough for this project. And I also used it for other pieces of the project as well. Once it was completely covered, this is the second style of shelf. You can use it as is, and I think it looks absolutely adorable. But if you want to go ahead and use it as a centerpiece, you can go ahead and add a few more accents. So what I chose to do at this point was go ahead and add my little oars if you remember the video that I made back in May, I turned these into cute little oars. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the logo and add some twine or rope to the top to cover up that little circle. I'm also going to add some to the bottom. The only difference between this one and the one in my previous video is that I'm not distressing it with any kind of color. I'm just keeping it its natural color. I also went ahead and used some of the Dollar Tree wood cutouts. I love this little anchor, so I painted it using these two colors, which I did purchase at Walmart, but you can find it anywhere. I gave it a coat of the lighter one first, and after it was completely covered, I added little accents. You can barely tell of the darker color, but it was just to add a little bit of dimension and make it look a little bit more interesting. But like I said, you can barely tell unless I told you that I added the darker color. So once everything was completely covered, I probably should have waited till it was dry, but I was a little impatient and I grabbed a little bit of my rope and fished it through and hot glued it together. I don't need much because I am gonna put this on the edge. And now it's time to work on my other piece. I'm gonna be using these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree. They are really, really long. So I went ahead and cut them down. Actually, I didn't. This is from my failed project from a few months ago. And then I used the wooden dowels. You can go ahead and use the same bamboo skewer to make the other sides, but I wanted to use this since it was nice and even. I hot glued the pieces. You can hot glue this however you want. I wanted one to be a little lower. You can just do one, you can do two, it's up to you. And then I grabbed this scarf that is also from Dollar Tree and cut it into a triangle. The navy blue and white pattern would be really cute as well, but I'm really trying to use everything that I have at home. And I really love the color of this scarf. It really makes everything pop. So I cut mine down and I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it around the dowel, just covering the dowel slightly. It doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of love the fact that it doesn't look perfect. Now you can leave the other side blank. You can add some more of the scarf, but I decided that I wanted to add some fishnet. Dollar Tree does have fishnet in the little decorative seasonal aisle, but that one was really, really spaced out. So I had some left over from my baby shower. I cut it down around the same shape and hot glued it and then made sure to clean everything up with scissors because with fishnet, of course, you do get a bunch of scraggly pieces. And once I was done, I had this really, really cool piece. Like I said, you can do whatever you want to yours, but this is just how I wanted it. You don't even have to put a sail on yours. I just thought it added to the fact that this is a boat rather than just a wooden piece. 
Now it's time to assemble and I went ahead and added my little anchor to the side. I only added the rope. I didn't glue this to the side in case I wanted to use it as a shelf. This could always just hang and not look awkward. And then I added all of my plants to this. You can add whatever flowers you want, a little arrangement. This could be a little wedding centerpiece if you dress it up. But I thought my greenery looked really cool on here. I did play around with what greenery went where. And then I added my oars to the side. I think the oars really make it look like a boat because with all the greenery inside, it kind of loses its shape. So once I finally figured out how to place it, I went ahead and finally got to add my little sail. And I think this really, really tops the this is a boat thing. So once I was done, I had this really, really, really cool boat centerpiece or outside decor, whatever you wanna use it for. And I think that this project was totally worth all of the time it took. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which one you'll be recreating, if you'll be making one of each. And thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.